Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Campus. I'm Odriza, and today we are diving into level one of our Python development internship at Cognizant Technologies. So let's get started. Task four is calculator program. Now I will show you how to write a basic calculator program in Python that can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and module operations. So let's get started. First, I will create a file. I'm giving it a name calculator. You can give it any name. So first, we'll define the functions for each of the basic arithmetic operations. This will keep our code organized and modular. The add function takes two numbers x and y and returns their sum. The subtract function takes two numbers x and y and returns their difference. The multiply function takes two numbers x and y and returns their product. The divide function takes two numbers x and y and returns their quotient. If the second number y is zero, it returns an error message to avoid division by zero. Next, the modular function also takes two numbers x and y and returns the remainder of their division. Now that we have our functions ready, let's set up the main part of our calculator program. Let's start by printing a header for our calculator. This line prints basic calculator and this line prints number of dashes just to make it look like a header. Next, we begin a while loop to continuously run our program until the user decides to exit. Inside the loop, next, both num1 and num2, both the lines, prompt the user to enter two numbers and convert them to floating point numbers. Next, the operator line prompts the user to enter an operator and removes any leading or trailing white spaces. Next, we will add logic to check the operator and perform the corresponding arithmetic operation. So, this if block checks if the operator is plus. If it is, we call the add function. Pass two numbers and stores the result in result. The elif block checks if the operator is minus. Then it passes two numbers, num1 and num2 in subtract function and stores their result in result variable. Next, it checks if it is multiplication sign. If it is, then it calls the multiply function and passes the two numbers and stores their product in the result variable. Next, it checks if the operator is division sign. If it is, then it calls the divide function, passes two arguments and stores the result in the result variable. Next, it checks if the operator is modulo. Then it calls the modulo function, passes two numbers and stores their result in the result variable. If the operator is not recognized, the else block sets the result to an error message, stating that it's an invalid operator. Next, this line prints the result of the operation in a formatted string. Finally, we need to ask the user if they want to perform another calculation or exit the program. So this part I have already explained before. If you have understood it, just skip the part. This line prompts the user to decide if they want to perform another calculation. The strip method removes any leading or trailing white space. The lower converts the input to lowercase. Then it checks if the input is yes. Then it continues. If it is not yes, then it prints exiting the calculator goodbye an exiting message and then simply exits from the loop. So now that we have built a basic calculator, let's run the complete code and see it in action. So at first, 
I am giving the first number 4, the second number 5 and the upper term plus. So it prints the result of 4 plus 5 is 9. I want to continue again. I am giving two numbers, 8 and 9 and subtraction. It prints the result of 8 minus 9 is minus 1. Again I want to perform so I am writing yes. I am giving two number 8 and 99. And I am giving multiplication sign. So the result of 8 into 9 is 792. Again I want to continue. So I am writing yes. I am giving two number 4 and the second number 0. Here because the second number is 0 it is showing that error division by 0 is not possible. Again I want to continue. So I am giving two numbers 4 and 2 and I am giving the division sign. It is showing that 4 divided by 2 is 2. Again I am going to perform. Now I want to check the module operator. I am giving two numbers 8 and 5 and the module operator it is showing that 8 modulo 5 is 3. So it is giving all the correct answers. So now I won't continue anymore. I am writing no. So it is showing that thank you. Exiting. So that's all for uh, task 4. And that's it for our basic calculator. We have created a program that can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and module operations. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in understanding how to build a simple calculator in Python. I will be uploading task videos every weekday. So stay tuned for more content. This week I will continue covering 5 tasks from level 1 of our Python development internship at Cognifiz Technologies. Next week we will move on to level 2 and the week after that we will tackle level 3. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to Code Campus for more programming tutorials and internship task guides. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy coding. See you in the next video.